Did you feel that? No, well, you probably wouldn't. But believe it or not, the Earth just had some of the shortest days ever recorded. And yes, that's a real thing. In July and August 2025, scientists observed that the Earth's rotation has sped up ever so slightly, making each day just a tiny bit shorter than usual. We're talking about fractions of milliseconds here. It's enough to get scientists, timekeepers, and even tech engineers paying close attention. Because when it comes to planetary time, even a millisecond matters. So what's going on? Why is Earth spinning faster, and should we be worried? Let's break it down. On July 9th, July 22nd, and August 5th, the Earth completed its rotation in 1.3 to 1.51 milliseconds, less than the standard 86,400 seconds that make up a day. It might not sound like a big deal, but these are officially some of the shortest days ever recorded in modern history. This was measured using ultra-precise atomic clocks in combination with astronomical observations. And here's the kicker. Scientists say that if the trend continues, we might actually have to adjust our global clocks, something that's never been done in this way before. Now, the Earth's rotation isn't constant. It actually fluctuates all the time due to complex natural forces. Here are the main factors that can make the Earth spin faster or slower. Gravitational interactions with the moon and sun. The moon causes tides, which shift mass around the planet and subtly affect rotation. Movement in Earth's core. Changes in the molten iron core can influence Earth's moon. Basically how it spins. Glacial rebound and melting ice. As glaciers melt or move, the redistribution of Earth's mass causes tiny shifts in how the planet rotates. Atmospheric and oceanic circulation. Even strong winds and El Nino events can change angular momentum on a planetary scale. It's like spinning a figure skater. If she pulls her arms in, she spins faster. Earth works the same way. Subtle mass shifts can change the speed. Right now, a combination of lunar positioning, core activity, and possibly climate-related mass shifts seem to be speeding things up ever so slightly. You might be wondering, who cares about a millisecond? Well, timekeeping is a huge deal. The world runs on coordinated universal time, which is based on ultra-stable atomic clocks. But Earth's rotation doesn't always keep perfect time with atomic clocks. Usually, when Earth slows down slightly, we add a leap second to keep atomic time and solar time aligned. We've done that 27 times since the 1970s, but if this speeding up trend continues, we may have to do the opposite. Introduce a negative leap second, subtracting a second to keep time in sync. This has never been done before, and it's a technical headache. Imagine adjusting global GPS systems, financial transaction timestamps, airline navigation, satellite communications, all to account for removing a second from time. Some tech companies like Meta and Google have already raised concerns about how a negative leap second could cause major system errors or crashes, especially in systems that assume time only ever goes forward. So should we panic? No, but should we pay attention? Absolutely. At the moment, this is not a sign of doom or apocalypse. Earth's rotation naturally fluctuates. But what is interesting is that the current acceleration is one of the fastest we've seen since precise records began. And scientists believe if it continues. A decision might have to be made around 2029 about implementing that first ever negative leap second. But it also raises interesting questions about how climate change tectonic shifts and Earth's internal dynamics are subtly altering our planet, not just at the surface, but right down to the core. Now here's a fun thought. If Earth keeps spinning faster and faster, could we eventually lose entire seconds, minutes, hours? Not really. We'd have to be spinning a lot faster, dangerously faster for that to happen. But the idea that our day is not a fixed, unchanging 24 hours is something most people never think about. The truth is, Time is not absolute. Our entire calendar, clock system, and digital world all rely on Earth playing along. And when it doesn't, even just by a millisecond, we notice. So yes, the Earth is spinning a little faster right now. And no, you won't feel it. You won't wake up earlier or get an extra minute at lunch. But our digital world, our scientific instruments, and our understanding of time itself are all affected by this tiny shift. If nothing else, it's a fascinating reminder that we live on a dynamic, spinning rock hurtling through space, 
and it's never as steady as we think. Let me know in the comments, should we care more about planetary time, or should we just enjoy the ride? Milliseconds and all. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and spin that notification bell faster than the Earth itself. See you in the next one.